I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with a three minute cattle market update for Wednesday July the 27th where we see that the long side lives finally we saw a strong, strong showing on the board on the long side after all this heavy down push from so much uh, short hedging and then people thinking this market's going to go lower and a lot of uh, short speculation too but a strong showing on the long side and not just playing around either I mean pushing it up the limit there on Monday uh, after, after a pretty good showing on Friday but uh, live cattle futures the October contract now is where most of the play is now Monday was up $3 limit uh, including August and December on both sides Tuesday was up $1.50 on October, ending the day for $112.57. Uh, your August contract ended the day on Tuesday at $113.87. So really uh, closing that basis quite a bit to see what happens with the cash market this week. But uh, feeder cattle, August contract still has most of the play. Monday was up the $4.50 limit and all the traded contracts showing were up 4 dollars half there. So that is really, really strong. Tuesday up just 75 cents, but ending the day with August on Tuesday at 142.45. CME uh, feeder cattle index is, is now trading at a discount to what the board is at 138.61. Real time index is a little bit closer. Cattle market central showing 139.19. But uh, we had that bullish cattle on feed report and seems like for the last couple of years your cattle on feed reports haven't really done a whole lot unless they were really bearish and then of course they, they take all that and then push down on it but uh, the, the cattle on feed report was bullish as the placements uh, come in uh, three percent less than what uh, most of the analysts had predicted and and really gave this thing a shot in the arm which is it was pretty much oversold anyway and we knew we had a lot of a room to go up but then we started hitting some technical support and started getting more speculators in there and and it just kept evolving and rolling up and and like i said earlier it, it's not really just a messing around uh juking and jiving on the thing they really pushed it up two limits and and they held there so that's a strong showing on the long side uh last week's uh, fat cattle trade your weighted averages on a negotiated basis there was 83,300 heads out of the five area feeding region which is pretty strong but uh, your live steer weighted average was 114.64, down 237 from the previous week. Uh, your, your dress steer average 184.75, which was down 242. But uh, we, we think we're pretty sure we're going to get a stronger cash market. We've already got some stronger bids, stronger than the weighted average anyway. Uh, but not any trade so far yet, but uh, we should see some 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 stronger cash uh, sales this week and and we're probably going to close that basis up and so if your if your board uh, continues up there uh, we're going to flip flop this basis now and we thought the only way we were going to do it is to continue to crash the cash market but now that we've seen the limit up day on Monday maybe that board's going to come up to, to close that gap and we're really looking forward to that because we know we get in the fall and the early winter of the year that we're going to be running with a real tight basis or even a, a negative basis so uh, we, we're going to get that done one way or the other and we're glad that the, the board's at least coming up to help that but uh, one big thing we've seen fundamentally is your box beef cutout values seem to have bottomed out. Uh, they got low enough to the point where we've seen huge buying. It backed up and backed up and, and a lot of these wholesalers needed to buy some product. But they just kept waiting and waiting and now they believe that it's bottomed out because uh, we did see the highest volume of trade uh, so far this year. And, and not just on uh, spot or out front, but on spot trade, uh, forward delivery trade, and export. So that is huge. That's a big shot in the arm for all your beef business and uh, both cattle and, and dress meat. But uh, we've got plenty of captive supply. The problem is the packers have got a lot of cattle lined up uh, for the next several weeks looking out. So. It's going to be kind of tough for for your uh, feedlots to gain a lot of ground, but if they can just get a dollar or two here and there and kind of keep things going, and if the, if the kill stays up there like it's been going, maybe we can still gain a little bit of ground through this. But look at some cash feeder cattle markets. Oklahoma City had just 5,000 head on Monday. Feeders one to three dollars higher. Uh, it's pretty good. Joplin had that awful hot. 
uh, and high humid weather there and they just had a real real light run less than 1200 head first time they've really done that since the same week a year ago when we were suffering the same thing but uh, steady to three dollars higher on where they were tested on some feeder cattle there you look at cattle market central and some quotes out of phillips south dakota on tuesday there look at all these nine weight loads of steers uh, a lot of uh, loads of uh, feeder steers, big feeding steers off of the grass up there weighing in the nines. Uh, mostly all bring them from 136 to 14275. Uh, your weighted average on those, all your good nine weight steers, it was over 1,050 of them. The average 948 at 138.69. That's three minutes. We'll talk to you on Friday.